What's going on guys? My name is Sarshit Samir. Welcome to the second Java game tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna start coding from scratch. So let's go ahead and get started. Switch to Eclipse. And before begin coding, I just wanna increase the font size. So let's go ahead and window preference, general, in that appearance, colors and fonts. As you can see, Java text editor, all this text font. Edit, make it as 12 so you guys can easily see what's going on apply okay there we go and let's go ahead and create a project new java project since the name of the game is sloppy bird so i'm going to name it as sloppy bird enter there we go now we need to create a package let's go ahead and create it package there we go back now as you all know we need a main method however the entire game is going to contain only one main method so I'm going to create a class which contains the main method new class so how let's name it as main bird there we go and which method stop stops would you like to create just create this one public static void main or you can simply type that's your wish there we go and as you all know first of all we need a window to display our game so we need a window what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a window the first task is to create the window and this window is going to contain nothing it means it doesn't contain any components at all and what I'm going to do I'm just going to create two external panel the first panel is going to contain the menu of the game menu of the game means as you all know I showed in the first tutorial the name of the YouTube channel and the name of the game and click anywhere to get started all this time all these things are going to be in the first panel so I need a panel which later on later on I'm going to add that first panel into window so this is what I'm going to do and first task is to create the second task is to create the first panel and add to the window after that when 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 I click click on the uh, message like click anywhere to get started it's going to I'm going to remove that from the window and I'm going to create the second panel so you guys know what second panel is all about that that's because i showed in the demo the second panel is pretty much like the entire game the background image of the game the walls and the image of the bird everything are going to be inside the second panel this is what i'm going to do so let's go ahead and create a window so that uh, we need to import jframe so let's go ahead and import it import java x swing J frame there we go and I'm just going to create a reference for the J frame just make it as private later on if I need I'm, I'm going to change it as public or static public static whatever I need for right now I don't need any kind of static and all these stuff so I'm going to simply create a reference for the J frame J frame I'm just going to name it as window and now I need a constructor to build this window empty window so let's go ahead and create public main bird and now I'm going to initiate this window so that what I need to do window equals as usual new J frame there we go guys and now I'm gonna setting up this setting up the features of the window so let's go ahead and set up window dot set default close operation j frame dot exit on close there you go and I'm going to type everything whatever I need and after that I'm going to explain to you window dot set size width and the height there we go window dot set location relate you to make it as null and window dot 
say title uh, title of the game is sloppy bird so I'm going to simply type sloppy bird there we go window dot resizable sorry so window dot sit resizable false so we cannot resize it and furthermore for I need to set the visibility set visible to so you can see the window when we run so guys this is what I need to do and I'm going to explain everything within a bid so don't worry about that and I need to initiate this I need to create an object for this main bird so what this constructor is all about it allows you to initiate the variables as soon as you create an object so let's go ahead and create the object for this class main bird there we go mb equals new as usual you have created the object so as soon as you created an object the constructor allows you to initiate the variables so this is what going to happen so let's go ahead and save the game save the program and run it as you can see this is the window for our game this is an empty window pretty much empty window and you you guys know no need to display the window right now because we never we didn't add any panel at all so for the sake of ex explanation for the demonstration purpose I just set the visibility to true but I don't need to set it right now after adding the panel only I need to set so let's go ahead and discuss about these stuffs as far as this set default close operation method is concerned it allows you to terminate the window for an example if you don't have this method and just go ahead and run the program even if you close the window it doesn't get terminated so if you want to get terminated when you click on the close button it needs to be enabled so we put set default close operation inside the bracket gframe.exit on close and you know that set size means pretty much setting up the width and the height so the first argument is the width and the second argument is for the height and set location related to is null which means it's going to pop up the window middle of the screen this is what going to happen with the help of this and if you don't have this method and go ahead and run it so as you can see it's going to pop up right here so this is what happening with the help of set location related to and set title is all about to pretty much like setting up the title as you can see in the window here this is the title sloppy bird and you can change whatever you want and set resizable means we cannot resize the window and or you can make it true so you can resize the window or what you can do simply just comment it so you can resize the window here as you can see you can resize it and for now uh, as far as our game is con concerned we don't need to resize the um, window so I'm just simply set it as false as you all know if you don't have this set visible method you cannot see the window even after creating everything correctly you cannot see the window if you don't set visible to true so this is what happening with the help of this constructor and what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to make it as private so as you all know I'm gonna make the constructor as private so that we cannot create an object outside of this class so I'm going to create you can do the programming with public also that's your wish I'm just simply changed change it as private for some reason so guys this is what uh, yeah this is what for this window and we have pretty much done with the window and we don't need to set visibility right now so let's go ahead and create a first panel and the second panel so as far as these two panels are concerned the first panel is going to be uh, sorry the first panel is for the menu and the second panel is for the game so I'm going to create two classes which contains these two panels so let's go ahead and create new class and this is for menu panel menu panel there we go and the another class that is for the game panel And we need to extend J panel in both the classes. I'm going to do it later. So, right, uh, easy enough so far. Now, what we need to do, we I'm going to create a 
folder which contains all the images which we need. For an example, as far as this menu panel is concerned, it's going to contain one background image and the game panel as same as the menu panel it's it's also going to contain one background image and furthermore inside the game panel we will have a uh, image of the bird image of the walls and all these stuffs are going to be inside the game panel so I'm going to create a folder which contains all the images which we need so let's go ahead and create a folder I'm going to name it as images enter easy enough so far so yeah it's more than 10 minutes so i'm gonna continue from the next tutorial don't forget to check out my next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit on the thumbs up button i'll see you in the next tutorial